Yeah, well, hello, welcome to a new year. Glad you all made made a switch from 2022 to 2023 and hope you all have a good time so far. And yeah, let's make this a good year. And to begin with, I want to share with you some, some new tools, tools that came in and other stuff that is shop related it might uh, show up later on this channel again so follow along for all the stuff that's piling up here on the workbench and I want to share with you so first of all I got this new fancier clamps to glue things up in the right angle just to replace these old nasty wobbly buggers and I tried them out I like him they're pretty handy so I'll get another set of those and get rid of these ones because they're uh, yeah they don't hold up to the, the things I would expect from a, from a clamp we have this uh, nice handy uh, pipe holder here which is cool for all sorts of round things that you need some some little leverage on you can turn it around a post or a other beam or something it needs to to be turned and tighten it down clamp it up with the grip and then yeah show that thing who's the boss After I finished restoring the the stairs in the new house, I was on the lookout for a little scraper plane, and yeah, finally I could pick one up for a good, good decent price. Um, I'm I'm not really a collector of tools, so I'm always on the look for something usable for a good price, and I think with a little bit of sharpening on this one, that will be really handy for some upcoming projects here where some scraping is involved. And then on the last flea market I visited last year I just couldn't pass this by for five bucks. It's a good name brand um, soldering iron with a bit more power, 150 watts and um, yeah really good for soldering up sheet metal or some bigger copper copper grounding plates or something or desoldering bigger stuff so that would be quite useful in the future and that's when I also got this beauty of a hammer. I mean it looks like a small sledgehammer or so if you're not not that much into it but if you look closely it has really sharp edges so that's a, a stonemason's hammer for splitting and yeah sometime in the garden I have to to do some bricklaying or so and then I have the right hammer on hand. Really cool I found this one didn't expect to find such a cool hammer in this pile of rusty old crap that was lying around there. But yeah, sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, and that's also one of those cool finds. I will make an extra episode about um, these things, but um, those are the, the clamps that go along with the tool I'll show you in a second, <coughs> which is this beast. That is um, a Bukama Rohrhefter. It is 
use with this long handle here so you can really push out the staples and push them into something where you need, need the staples to be and this one is a special D version that came up somewhere in the 50s it's at least the, the early uh, mentioning I found which is specialized to um, make the old types of, of ceilings that were used here the under construction is used here for plaster and yeah got this one I'm really excited of how smooth it works even though it's 70 years old and I'm looking for an, another set of those because they run like a dream and I, I hope I can get one that is not the specialized type, but the normal type for, for normal staples. And have a reliable, finally a reliable stapler on hand. Where you can grab it, put a few staples in and keep going and not worry about the thing jamming or the thing doing whatever it wants. So that was a really nice find. This little nice thing, which is kind of cute, I like it. Um, I'm wondering if I sharpen up the blade correctly, how how good it really works. So can't wait to check it out. Okay, let's see if this thing does its job or if it's just decoration. I mean, I wouldn't plane a whole project with it, but for rounding, for, for breaking an edge or so, it's doing quite well. Even in this pine, no big tear out. So, definitely a keeper. Also, got this awesome set of molding planes here, different styles that the beading plane. An OG, another smaller eating plane. Very cool profile here. Some beating plane with additional stripes and this monster double beating. Well, and unfortunately, this other one with the stepped beads came without the iron. But yeah, making an iron for that is definitely doable. And overall, that plane is in good condition. So it's also worth the time doing that. Here's the um, sew form shaping rasp with. Just need a new blade, I already got one. So, yeah, that was easy to get. And it's really cool, it uh, has this outside curve, so it can work some insides now. Yeah. You can't have too many angles, so more of those. And what is really cool, this milling cutter which unfortunately I don't have the right uh, tool holder for at the moment but yeah maybe I can trade with someone in the future or a really lucky maybe somewhere along the way a mill will pop up and I'm able to use it there you get one of those rounding devices for, for rounding over screws the top of a screw but the Chinese one doesn't do really good. So last time I wanted to use it, I got so frustrated and got myself a proper one with real blades in there. So that one really rounds, rounds over the screws, so it's easier to start on that. And I'm quite happy I got it. 
and I also got really, really, really lucky and could purchase one of the Mapex string grips, which is an awesome pair of pliers for gripping bolts that are just noodled and don't have a proper head anymore, and especially to, to grip them in the front or flat, and have used it in several occasion, occasions, and it's, it's awesome. So happy I enjoyed the, the find from last week. It's really cool white set of pliers for sheet metal and bending things. Originally it's used by the, by the guy who um, works on the gutters to, to fit them properly, but it will also work on other you know, sheet metal projects or even um, on, on, on plastics. So and for, for 2 euros, a nice addition to the collection. I mean, have you ever wondered how they make those, those giant screws that um, are used in, in workbenches in wood? Those wooden book presses or so. I was just sitting there all day carving away to make something like this. Well, that was not exactly the case. They used something very sophisticated to do that. And I've been, I've been looking to get one of those sets together for for a while now. And. Could finally get one, which is in the size of one inch, which is pretty cool. I mean, finally being able to make the screws and the and the threads and have a set that is matching, that is that is nice. But a few days ago, there was just an offer, and I couldn't pass it. Price was fair, and it was a two-inch version, so. Yeah. Just look at that beauty. I mean, it needs a little bit of love, a little bit of cleanup, and maybe a sharpening to get it working, but yeah. That thing is a beast. I'll, I'll show it to you in detail in an upcoming video. And. Let's hope it, it turns out as good as I hope it will, because this thing looks amazing, and I hope it will perform the same way. So that's it for now. Hope you have a good start in the new year, and um, see you next time. Bye!